All right, today I'm gonna to do a little case study. This is something that happened yesterday. I had somebody call in, I was talking to him. He was having a ton of terrible reactions. This is a guy that was nearly bedridden, spent weeks in the hospital with seizures, passing out, couldn't function, Lyme, parasites. He had anxiety, never had any of that before. This is a guy that's been hard working his whole life and then these infections crippled him to the point of what I just described. So after three or four months, he was doing really good on protocol. He was back to working. He does outside type jobs. So he's a hardworking guy. And then all of a sudden, about three weeks ago, he started having eye floaters. This is after we'd done three parasite protocols and two bacterial protocols. So eye floaters begin. And then he said that anxiety started building and the day before he called me, he had a, a situation where he said it might have been a panic attack. I don't know, but I was just non-coherent. I wasn't, I wasn't with it. I wasn't able to work. So I said, okay. He gave me all that information. He said, what are these floaters like? And he said, you know, they're just blind spots. You couldn't see. And they were going across his vision. But this is new. This was not something that had been there. So my first thought is, do we have parasite? Do we have bacteria? What else is going on? But I asked all the details, right? So this is where it's so important to track what's happening with you or to work with somebody who tracks all of your details for you. Because sometimes when we're very sick, it's hard to track our own details. So here's what I did. I started asking all the questions that I measure through. So I go, what's your fatigue? What's your body pain? All the different questions that he had. What's your anxiety, depression, brain fog, went through all of these, got that information. Then I said, when did this start? So the last time we had talked, we had started into a new protocol at full speed. Three days later is when these symptoms started to appear. Now, three days into these, this protocol, they appear, he said, and they just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So I asked him, I go, did you, were you taking the full protocol throughout that next three weeks? Yes. Okay. And the eye floaters started three days in and they've been getting worse. Yes. And the panics have been building over those three weeks. Yes. First question, why didn't you call me? He's just like, uh, I don't know. I said, okay, but next time call me because you don't have to keep getting worse, especially going through this. But I said, okay, so floaters, blurred vision. Okay. Do you also have a metallic taste in your mouth? Yes. Is your skin feeling a little sunburnt, itchy, rashy? Yes. Does your stool feel like it's burning on the way out, like you ate too much spicy food? Yes. Okay. You're dealing with a detox. Your body now is flushing toxins out. You're expelling likely metal. So we're going to go after it with HMET binder to pick that up. We're going to do a pulsing protocol to pull it out. Relax his body, pull it out, relax his body, pull it out, relax. We're going to do that for the next three weeks. And then we're going to get back into the antimicrobial pro protocols now supporting for the environmental toxins coming out also. What we have done is we've reduced the amount of stress on his body so much so that he's able to start detoxing on his own. His mitochondria were kicking on because originally when we were working together, he couldn't go out and work. He couldn't function at all. He couldn't think his brain fog was so bad. He was forgetful, couldn't remember his own information at times. So now he can remember things most of the time. He can work eight, 10 hour days, most days. So that energy production was coming back on, which means that he's pushing out the toxins out of his cells and his body's actually starting to heal. Now we had already been doing liver support, kidney support, lymph support, We've been doing all of that, but we hadn't specifically during the parasite bacterial side been going after heavy metals or environmental toxins. So when they started kicking out, his body wasn't supported for it. So that's when, if you're working with me, call me. If you're not working with me, think about these signs and symptoms so that you know when to step in and take care of your own health and take those steps forward instead of going, oh crap, what do I do? And stopping everything because it's not a bad thing that this is happening. It's a great thing. He's going to be getting healthier. The problem is we've just got to take advantage of it, step in and get to healing. Thanks for everybody watching this video. I hope this really helps you. If you know people that are having some of those symptoms or struggles when they get into protocols because they're fearing it, go ahead and tag them to 
this video, invite them to True Healing Strategies. We're gonna be on Instagram and Facebook with some of these things too. So I hope that helps everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.